good morning everybody there's sunrise a little breakfast relatively clear compared to what it has been gonna be a nice day we'll be able to take it easy or not depending on what we want to do how we feel as we did an extra you know four miles yesterday puts us much closer we are basically 25 miles or so from the border so I don't think we'll do it all in one day but we'll be in a good spot to do it tomorrow how you doing this morning top rock I'm okay. he's okay so we're gonna finish up here and hit the trail <laughs> it's amazing that bird was sitting there singing and singing and singing top rock pointed her out from down the trail say get up there and video them as soon as they get the camera out they know these actors do not work for free well we just came up from that valley i think that's grizzly pass over there on the far side picked up some water we are headed north to canada and I was a little off this morning when I said about 25 miles more to go. It's probably more like 27 or more. But we are literally making our way. It's probably about 25 miles now. So I'm thinking somewhere out there is Canada. It's pretty nice when you need water and you have a little trickling stream. And then Mother Nature provides a spout. So it makes it easy to collect water. The Northern Cascades can be beautiful. We find ourselves walking through a meadow highlighted in purple accents. What do you think, Top Rock? Beautiful. Got a good breeze too. Thank goodness. It's been yeah. kind of hot. We're out in the sun for the first time in a, in a while. Yeah, but it looks like we're gonna stay in the sun all the way up to the center of that, that saddle over there. So, bit of a walk. Another long climb in the Cascades, leading to another saddle. And off to another valley. It's been a long day, but not too hot, not too chilly. We definitely crossed the number of passes. I've totally lost count of how many passes we've gone through right now. But here's our next valley. And it looks like, do we go down into this valley? That way. Go that way. <laughs> and we go back. So, we're definitely going to be going into the valley and zigzagging, and zigzagging on through. Come along. One thing about this valley, we don't know if we can go down the valley all the way or whether we come back and go through that saddle over there, but one thing we do know is our trail is 
over the edge down this hill. So we are going to be losing some elevation really fast. Anyway, let's have at it. Well, once again, I was wrong. Top Rock was right. About as fast as we went down. Oh, and we, we did go down fast. We lost several hundred feet of elevation very quickly. And I was thinking we were going to keep walking on down that valley. But no. Top Rock said he said we'd be walking right back up. Yep. Looks like we're going to be walking right back up. It's good to have a second navigator on board. Well, friends, we've got our campsite picked for the day. It's right down there where those two trekking poles are stuck in the ground. We haven't set up the tent yet because, as you can see, the sun's on it. But within the hour, we think the sun will drop down behind the mountains. And then we'll be able to break it down for the night. We are 11.2 miles from the Canadian border. What do you think about that, Top Rock? Almost there. We are, we are almost there. If everything goes perfectly, we'll get up in the morning, finish climbing this hill to Woody Pass, head on down the other side for about four miles or so, and stop for a swim, because people don't like the way we smell. But if it's too cold, we won't. Temperature is dropping, which is kind of nice, because it's been pretty hot. But we'll stop for a swim. Is that Hopkins Lake, or? I think so. We think it's Hopkins Lake, something like that. It's like the last lake before you get to Canada. And from then on, we'll head to the terminus and then uh, cross into Canada into Manning Park. That's our plan for tomorrow. Today was a pretty good day. I don't even know how far we went. Different, uh, uh, intelligent people disagree. Actually, it's various services disagree on exactly how far we went today, but it's around 16 miles. But lots up and down and uh, some beautiful country. Every day is getting better. We're getting further away from the smoke. But the thunder clouds, I don't know if you noticed them there a moment ago, they are starting to build. We are seeing possible storms coming in the next few days, but hey, maybe we'll be done with the PCT by then. Okay, so that's more in the monologue than you want to hear today. So, till tomorrow, happy trails.